hey y'all welcome back to my channel and today I am doing a little bit different I am going to be doing a blue eye look and not for blue eyes but blue like blue this color blue <laughs> Does that makes sense I hope that does so um, let's see I've got these two blues right here that I'm gonna be using y'all have to ignore my nails I keep forgetting to take my nail polish off and they're chips <laughs> anyway so I hope everyone's having a great Tuesday. I think that uploading on Tuesdays is probably gonna be better for me for now, just because that Mondays are crazy <laughs> for anybody, whether it's me, you, or anybody. I feel like Mondays are like the craziest days ever. So, anyway. So, I hope everyone had a fabulous Labor Day. I know I did. I got to chill out at home and not do hardly anything. That was so fun. I did a little bit of like office type work just because I had a minute and I washed clothes. And that was about it. So, I just normally, what I do is I normally fill in my eyebrows while I'm waiting on my primer, my eye primer to dry. I'm going to hold up my little mirror over here. See that a little bit better. But yeah, I'm really excited because, oh y'all, I went into Hobby Lobby the other day and they have all their fall stuff out. And they have all of their, I mean, they have a majority of their Christmas stuff out too, which I used to get so upset when everybody would put stuff out early. But you know what? I love Christmas, so it just makes me happy to see Christmas stuff out now. You know, because that's like, I don't know, Christmas, my family has always made Christmas such, I don't know, such a fun, happy time. And I've always loved Christmas, so that's just me, I guess. But, you know, I did buy me some decorations for the salon. I bought me a pink pumpkin and a leopard pumpkin. I'm so excited. The pink pumpkin's like a light pink, and it's like one of those like squishy, squatty ones. And then the um, leopard one is like a wooden, just like shape of a pumpkin. And it is so cute. So, and I think I have another pumpkin at work. I just can't remember. So I only bought the two because I like to do stuff in threes, but I can't remember. So. I usually put up my fall decorations about, um, probably about mid-September or October. So, that's when I normally do my fall stuff. I don't know what my eyebrows are doing today. They look something funky. Maybe it's just the angle that I'm at. Who knows? Anyway, so I hope everyone, like I said, had a great Labor Day. I did, and... I'm excited because Mary Kay has lots of new products <coughs> coming out. Hold on just one second. Like I said, it's not a me video unless that I drop something, mispronounce something, or forget something. So, it's a me video now. So, I am just kind of contouring and highlighting really quick tell you what y'all can't hide nothing from the ring light picks up everything which I'm kind of glad now I'm going to take some I've been using this contour. It's got like highlighter in it. 
and that's a contour that we had I guess it was in 2019 no it was spring 2020 that's right it was spring 2020 so but I've been using the mess out of it and I love it because it's like it gives you that like little shimmery like tan looking glow like you've been at the beach but I did go to the beach last weekend so that was so fun I went to um Pensacola Beach Florida and it was fabulous um the hurricane was coming in like the day that we were leaving so I was really glad we left when we did but I tell y'all it was so much fun I had the best time and me and all my little friends got to hang out and it was just so much fun everybody there was so nice and it was just great so I had lots of fun what I've been doing lately is if there's kind of a line right here I've just been taking my highlighter and just kind of blending that out a little bit so it's not such a line and now we put on some blush I know me, I wear two or three different kinds of blush, so. Today I'm wearing two light pinks. One of them is more like a pinky pink with no shimmer. And then the other one is like got a little bit of shimmer to it. So that's why I put that one on top. And you always want to stay two fingers away from your nose. So your face looks thinner because don't we all want to look thinner <laughs> okay so now i feel like i got like a hair y'all ever get that feeling that y'all got a hair on your face and it's like i can't find it oh there it is wow it was like two giant fuzzies in my eyelashes that is insane god i'm glad that didn't go in my eye <laughs> okay so i just still feel like there's like a hair down here do y'all ever get that i know i'm a little crazy okay so on to the blue look that we're doing today Yay! so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to take um my let's see what is this brush called i think it's, it's a blending brush i'm going to take it with crystalline which is a very like light sparkly color and just sweep that all over my lid so that's what i'm doing there and then i'm gonna do it on this side too And I just do that so that, I don't know, just kind of sets it a little bit, has something to sit on. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the more sparkly blue on the middle right here and then the darker blue on the outside. So I'm going to go ahead with the darker blue and put it right here. And what I'm going to do is kind of do like a faded like from in to out instead of like my normal look. So I've been kind of changing it up a little bit the last couple of weeks. So, you know, you change up your routine a little bit every now and then. Or at least I do. And I just kind of swipe that. And I just kind of like pat it on. And then just kind of swipe little small swipes. Swipe, swipe, swipe. And I'm just bringing it in towards the corner of the eye. So that way we don't get too far out. Alright, so that's the finish. <laughs> yeah, that's, that'd be a little crazy. 
Okay, so now I'm going to come in with the more sparkly blue. And it's pretty much the same color. It's just got a little sparkle to it. And we're going to put that right there in the middle on both. And then I'm going to kind of just blend that back towards this other blue. And then a little bit this way. And little small swipes back and forth. Like that. Okay. And then I'm going to come in with a color called Granite. And it's like a sparkly gray color. And I'm going to come in right here and put it right here. Like right there in the corner and then kind of blend it back even on top of the blue a little bit just to kind of tone it down a little bit and then come on this side do the same thing and I love our eyeshadows because they are so pigmented so even if you do need to like blend it up a little bit over the blue you can and it will still be its color. Okay, now. And then I'm going to come back with um, Crystalline. I'm going to do that like right here in the very, very corner just to kind of brighten that up. Then I'm going to come back with what's called Moonstone. And it's same as Crystalline, it's shiny and it's really pretty, but it's not as bold. So it's just a little bit toned down, but it is still pretty bold. So, which I like. I like bold. Okay. So there is my look. And then what I normally do is I just come back with this brush that I did the outside corner with and just kind of blend that just very very lightly just swipe it back and forth very lightly and then I will come back with this brush that had the highlighter shade on it kind of blend that line out and there we are so then I blend a little bit of a line there I just kind of blend all that out and then when you start putting eyeliner and stuff on it really does bring it together so I'm going to do all that And for some eyeliner looks, I do my eyeliner all the way across. Some, I don't. So today, I probably will just because it says an intense look. But, you don't have to. You can do it halfway. But what I do is I draw it on halfway. And then I just kind of smudge it the rest of the way. So I will smudge it with a dark gray, like over here. And then I'll smudge it with blue coming in there. So that way it'll kind of have the same colors as my eyeshadow. Okay, so where's my little brush? Oh, there it is. Okay, so now I'm taking this dark gray color and I'm looking in my mirror, but hopefully y'all can see me and I'll just smudge it like that. And then get a little bit more. Smudge it like that and then I'm going to use that little bit of sparkly blue and just come in right there and kind of smudge it to meet the other part. Now, you can kind of see the blue a little bit. And then I'll usually just kind of come up under here and kind of fix it like that if it needs to be fixed. And then there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to do the top with black. Take the same brush and just do it with black for the top. 
because I just do like small little lines. You don't, there's really no way to draw like one swift line all the way across. So I just kind of do little small strokes like that. And then I just kind of bring it up a little bit. I put it mainly in my lash line, but then I bring it up a little bit just to um, smooth out the whole eyeliner. And then this sets your eyeliner and keeps it from moving or smudging or anything like that. So see how that kind of toned that eyeshadow down from being so, what, you know. So, and then when I put lashes and stuff, or mascara on lashes, but put mascara on my lashes. So, and then I love this eye primer or eyelash primer. So, all right, and then I'm gonna put a few things in. I let my lash primer dry just a little bit. I don't, I don't let it get completely dry, but I don't usually put my mascara on it while it's still that really wet. If that makes sense, I just you know put a few things in my bag, and then I come back and dry it. I mean dry it. I mean put my mascara on. Okay, so I really love Fanorama. And that's what I use on the bottom always. And then So that's what I always use on the bottom. I think I'm going to use Fanorama all over today, but I am going to let that dry for just a minute. And I'm just going to comb out my eyebrows while that dries for a minute. Today's eyebrow day because I've been doing a product every day from September 1st to the 13th because the 13th is my anniversary. I've been in Mary Kay seven years. I'm really excited. And I am going to do eyebrows today because that is one of my favorites. So we're going to be doing eyebrows. Post a little picture with that. So if you're on any of my social media, be sure to like it. Give it a little thumbs up or whatever. Heart. Y'all, I love this mascara. Oh my goodness, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I don't know if I showed y'all the brush, but I'm going to show y'all the brush again. So, you see it's flat on this side, it's curvy on this side, and then it's got these little fingers on the end. So, you comb it on with the flat side. And then you comb it out with the curvy side. And then you can take the little fingers and just kind of grab the ends of them and kind of bring them out. Crazy how much that makes them pop. Crazy. So, hopefully y'all can see that. That's my lashes. Y'all can see that. Okay, so then I'm going to do my other eye. Now, I may not be able to be totally in frame with this because it is always harder to do this side than it is the other side. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Perfect, perfect. So now that's my lashes and that's my mascara. And I just love that it's in a hot pink too. Like, you know, it just makes me happy. So anyway, and then I'm going to be putting on, uh, I am going to just go over my face with my powder brush. I'm just kind of blend all the extras away. And then... I'm going to be coming in with Tony Nude Lip Gloss. So this is one of my most favorite lip gloss colors. It is amazing. And when I'm doing like a colored eye or a really bold eye, that's just what I'll use. Because I want a nude colored lip. And this uh, gives me like some color. If you have more tan skin than me, this would be your perfect, perfect nude. But not very tan. But I did get a little bit of tan. Okay. So with that though, um, you can, this can be your perfect nude if you have darker skin than me or if you like me and want a little bit of color. And then we also have a little bit of a lighter nude if you're like me and super pasty. And then we have a really dark nude if you're very beautifully bronzed skin. So, all right. Well, that is all for today. I hope you like my blue look. I really do. I haven't done blue in a really long time. And I always like it because it kind of has that gray and blue pop and grays of blues do. I'm not, even though that like makeup people say that like blue eyes should not wear blue eyeshadow, it makes my eyes pop more. Like y'all can see that my eyes are like, Pah. so anyway, well, all right. I hope everyone has a great day. Um, I have makeup on my hands. I was trying to make sure it's not my shirt. <laughs> anyway, so y'all have a great day. If you see me out, say hi. I would love to meet y'all. Um, if you subscribe to my channel and go on Facebook and Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. I am on TikTok as Victoria Miss Fabulous. Instagram is Hair and Makeup by Victoria, Victoria Miss Fabulous. Facebook is Living Victoriously, Hair and Makeup by Victoria, and Victoria Talbert. And uh, Snapchat as Victoria Talbert, but it's Tori period Fab 18 if you want to add me on Snapchat. So, all right, well, y'all have a great day. Happy Tuesday, and go out and make it a great week. So, bye. Thanks for watching.